Hello, Internet Denizens! I'm Peter Paul Chano and this is The Boy. Today we've got a very unusual test. We're not doing processors or, or GPUs. We're doing oil filters. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so this is my fault for making him do this video because me and my interests and kind of just being weird like my dad. Uh, I have a new car, if you haven't seen from one of his previous videos, go watch that if you haven't. My interest is mechanics, I'm becoming a mechanic, and I wanted to see oil filters. They're bs who makes possibly the best one and just kind of differences in them. So I've kind of ordered them by, as I know, manufacture and not necessarily quality. So here we have Napa brand oil filters, the higher end ones supposedly and the lesser one supposedly. Then we have Fram filters. Now the Moto Master filters are from Canadian Tire, if you don't know, and they are manufactured by Fram. Uh, something to also note that I just remembered is the Pro Select filters and the Napa Gold are manufactured by Wix. That's about all I know about these. Uh, this is a Mobile One filter. I have never actually seen one of these uh, used on a car. I don't know why. And I just wanted to chop it open. This is a K&N, supposedly a better oil filter. It's NASCAR performance, but that's probably just marketing. And we have my good old Subaru OEM part, which is just a Subaru oil filter bought directly from the dealer. So what are we going to do uh, cut them open? That's the plan. So none of these oil filters have been used. They're all brand new oil filters. So we don't really get to see how much they have caught, but we will get an idea of the filtering media that they have inside the, I guess, construction quality, make educated guesses on which one should be the best. Sounds exciting. Let's start cutting them open. Yep. So safety glasses and Done. Yeah. Okay, let's see what the verdict is. All the oil filters have now been cut in half. So what are, what are, what are, you, uh, what are you looking for? Just generally what's inside. I, I've never seen one before. So that's the Subaru one. I'll, I'll do the close up stuff here. Okay. How does the filter look to you? Me, I don't actually think it's too bad. I don't like the cardboard. The amount of filtering media, though, looks okay. It's and not. What, what is it made of? Actually, is it's a paper it's, it's impregnated a, it's with a stuff? Paper. Well, I think that's kind of sketchy. Is just how uneven each individual. You, you don't think that could have happened while we were recording this? No. Okay. Next one. I do like how many holes they have in this lid, though, for letting the oil get in. That's nice. That'll allow for good oil flow. Okay, hey, next, what's the, what's the next one? Next is the Mobile One. Not a lot of holes. Should still be sufficient. Oh. Same type of uh, valve for too much pressure. This gets too plugged. This spring opens up and allows oil to just so this doesn't look as, as wide here. It doesn't it doesn't look like it has as yeah, much so material. As it's all tucked into the uh, the top there. So it has as much it has as much material, but it's tucked into the these lids, or is it actually cut off there? I don't really know. It looks like it was just kind of glued in place. Like they even missed some glue spots there. You can see it's just kind of actually on the filter. Not looks pretty fast, and if you look at the top, it looks kind of wonky. It doesn't look like it was actually glued on straight. Next, k &N. This is the super race car one? NASCAR. So NASCAR. Same top, actually, and almost looks like exactly the same as the uh, Moto One, so that's the lid. And ah, it's identical. It's identical. So the Moto okay. One is is, pa is made by uh, no, no, this KNN is, and the Moto One are the are same, identical, right. down to even the plastic on the uh, the blue pressure little, valve, blue little button. 
Yeah. Okay. Hmm. But almost looks like looks the it. filter media again is not looks that fewer. good here. Looks fewer. But that's just because that isn't built nicely. Like over oh, here, I look see. how compact it is. Next up is a Fram filter. Next up, Motomaster is supposed to be made by Fram. So okay. So let's crack it open. So again, nice holes. A lot of them. For all you American viewers, Canadian Tire is a Canadian com company that sells tires. And other you're, shit. You're welcome. So, nice holes on the top. Okay, I like the holes. Good, expert holes. <laughs> and, oh. Looks identical to the Subaru, Subaru OEM filter. Yeah. With the papery tops and bottoms. Only difference is, is the plastic is black and on the Subaru it's white on the... Well, it's the deluxe Subaru white. I don't even know if Subaru has a deluxe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anyways. Okay, so that's the same as the Subaru. Interesting. Yep, okay. That's a Motomaster. Okay. Next up is the... This is the lower end Fram. I believe it's extra guard. Yep. Nice amount of holes. Exactly the same. So I'm guessing this one is actually the exact same as the Subaru OEM one. This is the highest quality Fram. Nice holes. Good and enough. And that, that little uh, plasticky thing is the same? This? Yeah. Yeah, it's just okay. a different color. Ah. Nice metal construction. Maybe cut into the top a bit too much. <laughs> but way more metal. Doesn't and, this look like and the... And the fiber is different. Yeah, but it, doesn't this one look like the um, Mobile One? No. This All is of those look the same except for... Like the top and the bottom plate are the same. Right. But look at the filter material. Ah. It's way thicker. It looks more fibery. And so here's the two Napas. The lower end Pro Select top. That's kind of interesting. So that's a nice um, flow back, that rubber piece. It mm -hmm. stops a uh, flow back from the engine going uh, from the filter back into the oil pan. So when your engine starts up, it still has oil. Ah. That's, that's really nice how it stays sealed and it's not falling out immediately. Very cool. That's probably oh. another flow back or the pressure, over pressure. Yes, so there's a spring can't really see it on the phone camera. Uh, no. There. Oh, there it is, yeah. So you can see the spring in there. So this is the overpressure release. Oh, cool. Already I'm impressed. Yeah, it's nice. Go Wix. So another spring to keep the filter pressed in place. And looks like decent filtering media. It's kind of the same as the Mobile One slash the K&N. So mm -hmm. can't really argue with that, except it does look more evenly spaced. See all the inconsistencies in the mobile one? Yeah. I'm not sure if the yellower material is higher quality. Same construction okay. as the previous one. And this is a Napa? This is the gold Napa. Gold, so okay, same. same. Same spring. Yeah. And literally identical. So, so the Pro Select, which you're going to pay more for. No, is, this is the one you're going to pay yeah, more for. Yeah, yeah, is no different from the cheaper one. Pretty much. <laughs> so, okay. That's kind of Whoa. funky. So, that's a bit iffy there. So, the final verdict as to which is going to be the best oil filter for your car is what? Well, now, which one? The Pro Select and the Fram Ultra Synthetic are the ones that we like the way they are constructed. Well, they both seem pretty good. The way the uh, Pro Select was relatively inexpensive. It seems like a pretty good cheap filter. It's better than anything else we, any, everything else that was in, stuffed in the garbage box now. Right, but that Fram Ultra Synthetic, it's got. Uh... So it even has extra metal mesh inside to make it so that when it gets starts to get plugged up, it doesn't push all these pieces apart or together. It keeps it separated to allow oil to flow. So we don't really know scientifically because we haven't done the test as to which one is better, 
but in terms of the way it's constructed, we like the way the ProSelect is constructed, we like the price of it, yeah. but this Fram Ultra Synthetic looks like it's something special. I think this one is the most highly engineered filter. Whether it's the best, we don't know, uh, but certainly worth a try. And the Napa is uh, slightly less dodgy because it's got metal tops and bottoms versus the cardboard tops and bottoms of some of the other ones. All right, so our buddies Paul and the boy asked for my opinion on oil filters, and it's changed over the years a little bit. Uh, we, I used to work with a supplier in Port Colborne, and they were a Fram dealer, and I always had Fram filters. This was uh, in the last 10 years. Um, never had an issue with Fram, but things have changed with oil and oil qualities in the last decade or so that have really changed the market. We're going into longer oil intervals before changing your oil filter. My idea um, was always change your oil more often. Uh, you can't change your oil too much. Uh, we generally go five to 7,000 kilometers on gas. On a pickup truck diesel, we go about 10,000 kilometers. And on a big rig transport truck that has about 40 liters, we would go about 20,000 kilometers. Uh, sorry for all you Americans that want to hear everything in miles, but you're gonna have to grab a calculator and divide by 1.6. Or multiply by 1.6, I don't know, you figure it out. Uh, you can see the video from Paul and the boy that all these filters were manufactured the way they were intended to. Um, some were better, some were worse. Basically what it comes down to, if you change your oil and your filter often enough, even if there's an issue with your filter, it's not going to do detrimental damage to your engine because you're changing your filter every 5,000K. Um, definitely not good for your engine, but... Um, you can't open up every single filter to make sure that it's good and put it back together again and put it on your engine. You have to have some sort of trust in the company that's making it. So um, basically, my favorite filter is the one that you replace often. For me and my family, we change our oil every 5,000K, and that's my two cents. Good channel, guys. Thanks for uh, wanting my opinion here at the Boss Garage. Um, and uh, yeah. Here we go. Till next time, Internet Denizens, the most authoritative car review channel nowhere on the internet. Stay tuned to the next episode. <laughs>